Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the cottage cheese trend. All right, you guys, so those of you who know, know, um, but those of you who don't know, there's this cottage cheese trend. She's known as, as the cottage cheese and mustard lady on TikTok. She likes to eat cottage cheese with mustard and her signature like chicken, chicken sausage and then with like other veggies and stuff. We got the hearts of palm back here and they're kind of hiding. Um, and she drinks it with like electrolytes. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be trying it out. Um, so yeah, I have this big old tub of cottage cheese. I do like cottage cheese myself. I like to eat it as a snack. Um, you know, it's got lots of protein in it. I like the... I don't really have a preference. I tend to go towards um, the small curd cottage cheese. Um, but I don't, I don't really have a preference. So... This is brand new. I just got cottage cheese on my finger. So we're gonna do a cup of cottage cheese. And just put it right there in the middle. This little platter, I got it from Home Goods. I get most of my platters from Home Goods. Um, or like TJ Maxx or Yeah, so um, but this little platter has come in handy with my Indian food and now this you guys can kind of see everything's like separated So we have mustard. I don't have a preference on mustard. I usually buy whatever's on sale whatever's cheap It all tastes the same to me um, So today we're using French's I don't really know how much I should be putting but There it is and then instead of electrolytes um I'm gonna be having this these Skittles things that you add to your water and I'm going to have the pineapple passion fruit um, but I'm gonna add it to a bottled water first so I can shake it this bottled water is not cold otherwise I would just drink it from the bottle and then um, for electrolytes I have these trace minerals that I like to use um, it has potassium magnesium and sodium just a few drops of this it will change the texture of your water put about five I don't know I'm used to it I find that using trace minerals in just regular water it helps um, it helps quench my thirst more I'm gonna put it in this little this is like a little storage jar but I'm using it as a glass today um, I have another matching one it's a shorter one ooh so pretty nice and blue didn't all fit but so I have some on the side and then for my sausage today I am trying the Idell's all-natural roasted garlic and Gruyere cheese so she says that the best chicken sausage is to get the one with cheese so yeah and each of her tiktok videos she does like a little something different a lot of some of the same stuff but anyways yeah so let's try this <laughs> i'm excited but like nervous at the same time so i have the chicken sausage i have two hard-boiled eggs i have half of a i think this is like a honey crisp apple i have two mini cucumbers i have a pickle here i have two hearts of palm i have one roma tomato cut in half i have some broccoli some brussels sprouts a carrot and a large sweet pepper so let's dig in I'm going to do the chicken sausage with cottage cheese and mustard. Get some more cottage cheese on there. Mmm. That is surprisingly good. It's the textures. So I'm just going to go around in a circle here. I have a hard boiled egg. 
with cottage cheese and mustard. The cottage cheese is like spilling out. Mm. I knew I was gonna like that because I make my deviled eggs with cottage cheese and mustard sometimes because I don't like mayo. Apple. <laughs> Cucumber with cottage cheese and mustard. Mm. Let's try that again. I'd rather dip it in ranch. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I've seen her do a pickle, but I did see her do a pickled okra, which I love pickled okra. I just haven't been able to find it. And they're like $25 if I order from Amazon, which is way more expensive than you can order, than you can just go pick it up in store. But I haven't found a store that sells it. I'm doing a pickle with cottage cheese and mustard. Tomato with cottage cheese and a little bit of mustard. Mm. I like tomato and cottage cheese with some salt and pepper. Fresh cracked pepper. So I knew I was going to like this, but the mustard gives it a little something different, you know? Now this is the hearts of palm. So she suggests that you get the the hearts of palm that are in glass. I couldn't find it anywhere. I found it at one store and it was sold out. Um, but I did find the canned. So she suggested that whether you get the canned or the glass, you empty the juice and like let it sit in the fridge for a little bit because it does have a smell. So right off the bat, these are like, they feel kind of tender in the middle. And they smell like baby corn, the canned baby corn. Um, so yeah, hearts of palm with cottage cheese and mustard. Mmm. So it's got a little crunch like a, just a tiny tiny bit of a crunch on the outside and then on the inside it's really soft let me taste it without anything it just has like a briny a briny taste to it it doesn't really taste like anything except for brine um kind of like it's been pickled but the texture so you get the bite and then on the inside it's really soft these are actually really good mm. Mm. broccoli with mustard Do a little bit of cottage cheese. Brussels sprout with cottage cheese and mustard. Mmm. 
That's kind of hard to bite through. Mm. I think I'd rather have the Brussels sprout cooked. Oh, very crunchy. Hard to bite through. Carrot with mustard. it with cottage cheese and mustard. I don't know if I've ever seen her eat a sweet pepper, but I had these large ones in the fridge that need to get eaten. So we're going to try it with mustard cottage cheese and mustard. Mmm. Pepper with cottage cheese and mustard. Mmm. That Skittles flavor is actually pretty good. I've had these in my pantry for a long time. My kids don't like them. Um, but it's they're not too bad. Um, this is the variety pack. But yeah, I've, my kids don't like these. So they were just sitting there. I just figured I'd mix it with some trace minerals. So let's go for round two. I think my favorite, obviously, is the chicken sausage with the cottage cheese and mustard. Mm. It tastes very keto. <laughs> and this just reminds me of like a keto meal. Those sausages are really good. Roasted garlic and Gruyere cheese. I cooked them in the air fryer for, I think, seven minutes at 400 degrees. I should have cooked them just a little bit longer, a couple minutes longer, to get that crunch that you see in her videos. Mm. Tastes like a deviled egg. some apple I'm gonna skip these these were my least favorite I'd rather dip them in ranch Or eat the pickle plain. The hearts of palm though. Very good. Honestly, I feel like they do taste 
very similar to the baby corn the canned baby corn that you can get um just without that crunch very interesting Mm. so the reason why she eats like this is because um she has a few different um i know she has lyme disease and then something else so she can only eat certain foods that don't like irritate her her gut i think hmm some people were calling her out saying that she was copying a few other TikTok creators that I had seen before that do they they would eat like the the chicken apple sausage with mustard and sweet potato and broccoli with mustard um so it's very similar but she threw in the cottage cheese Which is very good. Mm. And then there was, there's this other creator and he's like on a weight loss journey. So he started making dips out of cottage cheese. It was like cottage cheese with mustard and the hard boiled eggs. So his videos pop up on my For You page. My For You page is like all about cottage cheese. Not all about cottage cheese. I do get these one, <laughs> these TikTok creators that come across my For You page and they go live and they're like, anime or like dolls and I don't know their names you Tony knows who I'm talking about because I would like do some of the gestures and sayings that they they say and Tony looked at me like how do you know those people well, I don't watch the, I don't watch them okay I've just seen like clips of them mm-hmm well Every time, actually there's a new guy that popped up on my free page this morning. I sent him to you. I sent you his, his link. Um, but every time they pop up, I like, I can't just scroll past. I have to watch at least a couple minutes. What they do is they react to the the gifts that people give them. I think they're gifts. I don't know, like flowers or popcorn yeah. or yeah. So they react to them. So if somebody sends sends them popcorn, one of um one of the creators goes, "Mmm, popcorn, so good," or something like that. I don't know. All right. This is actually very filling. What is it? What is it? Yeah. It's um vegetables. I have a couple of sausages, a couple of hard boiled eggs. And caught it and then you dip it in cottage cheese and mustard. What do you think about that? Okay. He doesn't like mustard or cottage cheese. Huh? That sounds nasty. <laughs> he said it sounds nasty. <clears throat> What's up, Miha? 
my kids are out. Well, Tony was napping on the couch. Sophia is out of her room from watching G Jersey Shore. You want to try this? The cottage cheese and mustard trend. I like it. Yeah. With cottage cheese and mustard? Yeah. With an apple? No, the apple I ate separately. Oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-oh, where? It is weird. You want to try it with the sausage? No. More for me. <laughs> it's like... Mm hmm. I don't like it. All right. Yeah. It's a mix of different textures. I'm sure that that the milk would taste like a hot dog with like mustard, but have the extra te texture of the cottage cheese, right? Yeah. It's good though. Mm. Mm. But I I didn't like the cucumber. Just, I feel like it doesn't go. The cottage cheese with the mustard with carrot is pretty good though. I'm getting to the thicker part of the carrot. You gonna make a hot dog now? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Where's that? It's in there. It's in the fridge. My camera shut off. I'm, this is a pretty long video. Thank you, Sophia. You're welcome. She had to push record again for me. That helicopter? It's flying real low. What? It just looks sad. Mm. <sighs> Alright you guys, let me know if you guys have tried this. It's not really a challenge, what is it? A trend? Um, and how you liked it, what your favorite one is. Um, and yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but you know what? I just thought I'd try it and I thought I'd make a video of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried this trend yet. Do you like cottage cheese? That's the number one question because I know a lot of people don't like cottage cheese. And there's like a whole... <sighs> 
group of people that are like cottage cheese lovers that use it on like everything and in different ways that I would never even think of. I like cottage cheese, but I don't like it enough to like do weird things with it. This is kind of weird, um, but it's good, you know? Um, so there are some other cottage cheese recipes that I do want to try. If you guys want to see those, um, I can do like a try, a, uh, a taste test video. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Turn your notifications on so you're notified the moment I upload a brand new video. Rate this video for me, please, and I will see you soon in a brand new one. Bye!